Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla news. Just wanted to create another special edition video. This time again I'm doing it from Las Vegas. And so I wanted to create another special edition video where I pretty much get your ideas and your comments on a particular subject. The other day I was talking about uh, essentially what was your first experience ever with Godzilla. And so I wanted to pose another question to all my Godzilla fans out there. If you had one favorite movie you could think of within the Godzilla franchise, what would it be? What is your favorite movie throughout the entire franchise? And I'll explain mine here. For everyone that has followed my channel for a while now, they all know that my regards to my own favorite actual movie it is and remains the Godzilla 1985 film. Um, it is, again, one of the first instances that I saw a mature Godzilla. And it remains my favorite film because of the seriousness, the tone that the film displayed with Godzilla. I love, love, love the fact that it got rid of all the uh, many years of the hokey, kids-friendly Godzilla. The one bouncing up in the air, f doing kicks, flying kicks, and also, of course, doing the infamous flying breath going backwards. It got rid of all of that and essentially went back to how Godzilla should be, which is as a destructive, malevolent uh, force of nature, somebody to be taken with a serious undertow. And I'm so glad that the 1985 film went back to that, and I'm so glad that it looks like both the original film, the Gojira film, and the 1985 film seem to have a tone set for the new movie coming out later on this year. It also remains one of my favorite films because of so many of the uh, introductions that it does within the Godzilla franchise. If they haven't been introduced before, it's certainly compounded on these ideas. Like, for example, the idea that Godzilla uh, is essentially hardwired to uh, birds, much like dinosaurs would be uh, are considered nowadays. Um, Godzilla being a mutation of a dinosaur of some sort, it's interesting to see that he's also hardwired to the birds too. Also the idea that Godzilla would need some kind of energy, nuclear energy to uh, consume itself. Wonderful idea on there that I love the way it was presented. It remains one of the most infamous shots when Godzilla is first rising out of the swampy the swampy marsh area surrounding the nuclear power plant and then slowly approaches it. I love, love, love that idea, that concept. The other one that I loved as well was the idea that lightning is a sort of, I guess you could call it, uh, uh, like a resuscitator of some sort. You know those devices that people place on their chest whenever somebody is having a heart attack? It looks like Godzilla has his own and it's through the form of lightning on there. Very, very cool stuff when the lightning was striking Godzilla after that nuclear storm and essentially revived him from his, I guess you could call it a coma at that place. But again, the biggest thing that I loved about this film is that it conveyed again the serious tone that Godzilla should have and this is something that I really hope for and it looks like it, that it'll be within the new movie as well. I love the cinematography, I love the look of the film, I love the design of the suit, which remains my favorite on there. I wish that the new movie had more of a, uh, I guess, following of the design of the Godzilla 1985 film, but, well, you know, one can't win everything, but the way I love the suit was that it was back to the almost dark charcoal black design with the infamous scowl, the, the white eyes. Uh, always in the scowl as if it's making a piercing look, a pierce frightening look to you. And that's what I also loved about the suit. But yeah, lots of other things to love about. Um, I like the story, the introduction of Godzilla. I really like that. Uh, there was also the idea also of, the, of that louse, I guess you could call it. That was essentially found on the ship, which it seemed like Cloverfield took a nod off of when it came to their own Cloverfield-type monster and those little bug devices falling off of them. I love that Godzilla's introduction is the rising of a, of through what looks to be either the breaking of a volcano or of an earthquake on that island. Very great introduction on there. And of course the ending itself, so tragic, so sad. Anyone who's seen the movie knows what I'm talking about, that... 
Um, it's 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 one of those endings that you know has to happen, but at the same time you don't want it to happen. So very tragic ending on there. So, what's your favorite film thus far out of the entire franchise? Post your comments below. Share them with everybody on there. Explain why too if you can, so that way everybody can see the reasoning behind it. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again. Take care.